Hello, greetings to everyone tuning in. Whether you are a stay-at-home parent, a remote or distance learning family, or you are someone who is just trying to help your child complete nightly homework assignments, this video is for you. The first tip is to create a space. Yeah, environment is key. If the purpose of the space is learning, then set it up to look and feel like a mini classroom. Now you're going to need a desk or table, comfortable seating, good lighting, and quiet, no distractions. Tip number two is about supplies. You're going to want to equip your space with all the supplies and materials that your child will need to complete any assignment. Organize those supplies for easy access so that learning not looking will occur and you'll make the most of the time. Tip number three, work time. So with your work time, you're gonna to wanna to design a schedule that is unique for your family and your child. You're gonna to want to invite your child into this scheduling process so you can get their buy-in with the whole thing. Now, once you set that schedule, be consistent and stick to the times that you have set for learning. Now, create goals that are realistic and attainable. And also within that schedule, set some break times. Young learners don't often realize what five or 10 minutes actually looks like. So by setting a timer, that's going to let them see and hear just exactly how much time is left on their learning tasks. And set up a chart with your goals so that once your child completes an assignment, they can either check it off or highlight it or place a sticker near the goal that they have completed. In this way, it will help them have a sense of getting things done. If you choose to, you can also reward your child for completing those goals and that will help them and encourage them also. Okay, you are definitely your child's first and best teacher. But in tip number four, I want you also to think about being a coach, stepping into that coaching role. You know, a coach is on the sidelines. They've equipped the team. They've given the team the strategies, and then they kind of just step back and guide. That's how I want you to, to view your role at, in this home learning process. You're going to be available and you're going to offer support but you're also going to be flexible so when your child's working if you need to rearrange the the strategy the schedule the timing you can do that to help that process go forward and by all means stay positive you know, sometimes your child's gonna feel a little stressed about working. They might be tired or irritable. So instead of saying, if you don't complete this assignment, I'm gonna ground you, just restate it in a positive way. You might wanna say, hey, I know you're feeling a little tired. We've only got a few more minutes, and then we'll take a break. So just keep working just for a few more minutes. I think that you will see that by staying positive, you will pull in those better results. Okay, tip number five is to stay connected. Keep in touch with the who or the organization that you're working with. Share good news as well as struggles. Be informed and stay current. Know what's expected. And of course, turn in the work Turn it in on time because learning is normally done in a sequential manner. So you're going to want to keep up with what your child's doing, have them complete tasks and turn it in on time so they can go on to the next learning activity and therefore keep that learning going forward. Now, don't forget to reach out 
to the who or the organization that you're working with if you need help. They're there to offer support, guidance, and encouragement. So reach out as needed. Remember, the journey you're taking is not always easy, but it is well worth the effort. Follow these tips and your path will be much less stressful. Now take a breath. You've got this. And thanks for viewing.